We need to talk about 2020. Hello everyone and welcome to Big C TV's 2020 preview. My name is your Chris, I'm your host, and we're going to be talking about some of the plans and some of the changes that are going to be occurring to the channel in the brand new year of 2020. Now first of all, Happy New Year to everybody. Welcome to the year 2020. It's going to be an exciting year, I think on multiple levels. But before we look forward, I want to look back. And thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for how awesome 2019 was. For this channel, not only did we reach a milestone, a probably our first major milestone with 500 subscribers at the end of the year, but we were also able to release a whole bunch of brand new content and do some experimentation. We, we added some extra flair to videos that didn't normally have it. We tried some new video concepts, some of which were really popular. And of course, we released a lot of the same content that everybody loves, like Taste Test, Taste Test Adventures, all that good stuff. So, with how big 2019 was, what are we going to be doing different in 2020? Quite a few things. First off, I'm sure you might have noticed with our McDonald's video being the first, we shortened the intro. That's going to be a trend both here and on Thrill Seekers, which I'll talk about their preview in a separate video on that channel. But... We wanted to allow our audience to get to our video content quicker. And even though I do enjoy editing new intros kind of every year, rather than doing that, I'm just going to make a nice short and sweet intro. We might revise it later on, but I feel this is kind of the trend we're going to. Don't need to do anything more than that. Don't need to add any kind of music to the intro. It's just going to be short and sweet. So, new intro is just a shortened version of the old intro, although that might change. We'll see. We've also noticed over the past several taste test specific videos, we've added background music. Now, I don't like adding background music when it just seems fake, or if it's there just to take up space. So, I'm only going to add it when I feel it's necessary or when I feel it could enhance the video. So a lot of taste test adventures, because sometimes they're in an area where there's already music or sometimes they're in an area that's just too loud to hear any background music, I'm probably not going to use it. I did use it during the McDonald's video, but that's because I wanted to kind of experiment and it worked kind of. Um, it depends on the location though in terms of whether I'll use it or not. For regular taste tests and for videos where I'm here in my room talking to you, I'm probably going to use background music. I'm going to try to experiment with different kinds. So I have some background music to listen to while I'm rambling or, or trying some kind of food. Uh, so depending on the video, I'm going to try to use more background music. So that should enhance some of our videos. We're also going to be doing some experimentation with end tags. Because of the new intro, I'm now going to do kind of a, a stinger preview, which is you know, kind of a thing for a lot of other YouTubers, but I'm going to try to do some pretty funny ones or some creative ones besides what I've been doing. So that adds an additional level of creativity that I can implement. So there's going to be a lot of stuff behind the scenes that's going to be changing. We're going to be focusing a lot on hitting a major milestone. So 500 subscribers, awesome. Big milestone. Glad we finally did it. But we're not done. <laughs> YouTube, for the past several years, has done a really good job of kind of screwing over smaller channels by taking away abilities such as monetization and live streaming in order for you to hit a certain subscriber and certain view count. Actually, believe it or not, Big CTV was monetized at one point. I never made any money off of the videos because we didn't get enough views, but it was a monetized channel. That ability was taken away from me when YouTube redid their policies and decided, no, only you have to hit a certain subscriber level and have a certain amount of views to be monetized. Another ability that was taken away was doing live streams on mobile devices. So those are two things that I think I would love to have the ability to utilize. Live streams mostly. I think it'd be really cool to do a live taste test on YouTube and be able to stream it with you, the fans. 
To do that, I have to hit a thousand subscribers and have a certain amount of views. Now the views thing, I'm not too concerned about. We're gonna keep releasing content. We're gonna keep trying to find ways to promote that content. If we get more subscribers, more people will watch the videos. We'll get there eventually. Right now I'm focused on subscribers. So I really need to hit a thousand subscribers. <laughs> That's the goal right now. And it's a pretty reasonable goal by the end of 2020 to be able to hit a thousand subscribers. I think we could do it a lot sooner than that, but that's the goal right now is I wanna hit a thousand subscribers. And to do that, I need your help. If you're watching this video and you are not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell. That way you can see when we're releasing new videos and all kinds of new content. If you are a current subscriber, thank you for subscribing. Recommend this channel to your friends. We want to get as many people watching as possible and as many people subscribed as possible so I can hit that thousand subscriber mark. The sooner we do that, the sooner I can offer live streams as an option. And I would really love to do some live streams. Monetization is something I would also obviously love because, you know, making some money off of these videos would be great. Um, believe it or not, whenever I do these taste test videos, I'm paying for everything out of my own pocket. Uh, I do have a Patreon, so if you want to subscribe to that, although I've been really bad at keeping up with it because I haven't had a patron in a while. So if you want to support the channel that way, you can become a Patreon patron and we're going to try to work on revising some of the uh, Patreon perks and all that. But if we can hit that subscriber mark and if we can get those view counts up, we can become monetized, which means I can actually make a little money that I can use to funnel back into the channel maybe get some new tech, maybe find other ways to improve the quality of the videos, improve what I can offer, do more videos, all kinds of stuff. So monetization is, is good. And obviously I would love to be able to have a monetized channel and actually make some money. So in order to do that, I need to get my subscriber count higher. So if you could please help us out by clicking that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, Tell your friends to do the same. That way we can get our channel views up and hopefully get monetized and get those live streams going before the end of 2020. That's the main goal. Now, in terms of what to expect in 2020, the same. But we're going to try to do some tweaks. One thing that a friend of mine who I'm actually working with to do some changes to the channel pointed out is that a lot of my most popular videos are from 2015 or earlier and I mean some of that just makes sense because they're old videos so they've had more time for people to view them but there's a number of videos from that era that just keep getting clicks and keep getting people viewing them so one thing I want to start doing and I don't know if I'll be able to do it every week but I want to start doing it fairly soon is kind of a throwback video where we go back and look at some of the most popular videos on the channel and check out what's going on in whatever that is in 2020. So for instance, one of the most popular videos is when I made a Monopoly board on my Monopoly. Maybe I'll make a 2020 version of it. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, another one was when we did the Knott's All You Can Eat deal. Maybe we'll do that again. Who knows? There's gonna be a lot of cool stuff that we're planning on doing and I think a throwback episode every once in a while would be kind of cool so maybe I'll do some throwback videos I don't know if it'll be every week probably not but uh I'll try to throw one in maybe once a month do a throwback see how those go um I know I mentioned earlier experimentation we tried to do a lot of experimentation this past year and some of it worked some of it wasn't as successful as I hoped but we're gonna do a lot more of that I'm gonna try to do some new concepts create some new shows and obviously continue the ones that are popular. So of course, one of the big ones that seemed to get a lot of traction was Fast Food Throwdown. I already have a plan in the works for an additional Fast Food Throwdown episode. So we'll probably do that. We're also going to do some other concepts. One I have is for a show called The Challenge, where we do different challenges. Some are food related, some are not. And uh, try to get different people to compete in a real world challenge situation. So that's gonna be a show I'm definitely gonna be trying out at some point. 
Of course, we're going to bring you the shows that you know and love. Taste Test, Taste Test Adventures, More Fast Food Throwdown, 30 Second Reviews, The Hall. The stuff that you've come to know on this channel, we are going to continue, of course. I'm also going to try to, I know I said it last year, I didn't, I wasn't very good at following through, but we are definitely going to try to do more gaming videos. I haven't been in really a gaming mood lately, but I have a lot of games that I should be playing that I just haven't been, so hopefully we'll try to throw in some of those. Maybe I'll start some new gaming series, we'll see. We're going to do a lot of content that you love, as well as trying out some new content for you. Uh, in terms of big events, there's not a whole lot that, like, will be huge this year. Not as big as last year, that's for sure. Last year we knew we were going to have Galaxy's Edge and a whole bunch of other stuff. I expect to do more traveling, probably expect some videos from Vegas, LA, Anaheim, maybe some other places, who knows? I love traveling and I like to continue to travel to different places besides just the ones that I go to all the time, so expect videos from the places we've been, but expect videos hopefully from some new places. One thing that will be coming later this month, which if you watched our videos last year, you'll know what to expect. Brosmas 2020, AKA Brosmas 2019 in 2020. Uh, it's the bro Christmas event that me and Corey, Wyatt, and Shelby all do together. Last year it was just me, Corey, and Wyatt. This year we're gonna try to get Shelby involved. So we're gonna do some more stuff for that. It's gonna be airing at the end of January, so look for that. Got some cool stuff plan for that so it should be fun basically what i'm saying in terms of what we're planning on doing this year a lot of what you love experimenting trying some new stuff improving the quality improving the the feel of all of our videos improving the ease of access but the most important thing that i want to start doing this year and i definitely need your help for that is more interactions that's one thing that I haven't been very good at, and I freely admit that I need to work on as a YouTuber, is <laughs> interacting with you, the viewer. So that's one thing I'm gonna be focusing on a lot. So if you comment on one of the videos, I'm probably going to respond. I may not respond immediately, but I will probably respond to your comment if you are asking a question or have an experience. Now, obviously, once videos start to get a whole bunch of content or a whole bunch of, of comments, I may not be able to answer all of them, but I will try to answer as many as I can. Um, I'm also want to start interacting more with people on Twitter and Instagram. So if you have not subscribed or followed me on Twitter and Instagram, that's Big C TV Show. Uh, Instagram, I post pictures from different food taste tests. I post some of the thumbnails before they become thumbnails. And I, I sometimes post some little short videos on there too. So uh, I do eventually want to do some more experimentation with Instagram in terms of some interactive stuff. So hopefully do that. And then of course you can tweet at me at Big C TV Show on Twitter. If you have a question or want to leave a suggestion for something to try or a video concept, you know. Please interact with me there. I'm also going to comment on when people ask me questions in the comments on YouTube. And I'm going to leave a question in the description for a lot of my videos. And depending on how many responses I get, I might actually start using your responses in video. So if I do a taste test and ask you, hey, what's your favorite candy bar? Enough people respond. I'll take several of your responses and use them in the video. So. We'll see what happens. But the goal is I want to start interacting with you, the fans, a lot more than I have been in the past. So please interact with me. Leave comments. I will be glad to answer. Uh, tweet at me. Leave a comment on Facebook. Or um, not Facebook. Well, we have Facebook. Leave a comment on my Instagram photos. We do have a Facebook page. I haven't been updating it in a while. But if you want to... Follow me on there, it's Big CTV. I would prefer Twitter or Instagram in terms of social media stuff, because I think those are the ones I can keep up with a little bit easier. But yeah, leave comments. Let me know what you think of the videos. If you're really enjoying what we're doing, let me know. If you think there's something I can do to improve, let me know. Uh, 
I really want to do this not only because it's fun, but also for you, the viewer, and for you, the fan. So help me improve the channel, help me grow. <laughs> And by growing and by getting to that thousand subscribers and hopefully get monetization, um, we can continue to give you more content and give you better content and continue interacting with you, the fans. So thank you to everybody who's helped us grow and thank you for everyone who will be joining for uh, when we continue to grow throughout the course of the year. So 2020, it's going to be a big year. Thank you for everything. Please hit the subscribe button if you have not already. Hit that notification bell. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. And uh, we'll see you for an awesome 2020. Bye.